A number plus a number equals Eleven. nine. Eleven. Eleven. Yes. Long. Long. Feed it. Because when I read about how somebody is feeling, it makes the story more interesting. A group of 10 fits all the way across, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a group of 10. It kind of looks like if I just look at the top part, it looks like what you have. It's called Play Changes our tens or our ones? ones. Our ones. So using your ones, make this number say 45. I love how you use two vowels here to make that A sound. Made is going to be spelled like this with a mommy E here, okay? M A D made. I am so proud of you. Like, I almost cried so many times reading your writing because you guys are doing such a good job. It is insane you guys are amazing and they're improving their writing the very next day so i'm loving 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 our new writing structure <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I'm a first grade teacher in Las Vegas. We are coming back from Thanksgiving break. I know that by the time you're watching this, we'll probably be at a Christmas break. Whatever break you are off of or going into, I hope it's a good one or I hope it was a good one. Definitely feeling refreshed. I feel like my break felt longer to me. I'm not sure why. Normally they feel really short, but I'm just being really grateful that I got at least a couple of days to spend at home with John. So we had Thanksgiving dinner. Um, we did a tiny bit of shopping. I've started ordering Christmas presents for people. Started to put up our Christmas tree. We have been playing a lot more board games. I feel like I've kind of just like reset as a person. Also, I finished Queen of Queen of Shadows. I finished Queen of Shadows in the Throne of Glass series and that was the book that I had stopped reading the series last time I read it and it's so good. So currently loving that. I also updated my phone and some of you are like wow Maylene finally but like it's really can you even see it? It's really throwing me off. I feel like it's not my phone. <laughs> also I'm currently trying to rehydrate some dried sourdough starter. I feel like I'm just like coming back I'm coming back to myself. I'm doing things, I'm spending more time doing things that I like, like reading and cooking and baking. We baked some really good espresso blondies this weekend. I've just been doing more things for me, so that might be why I feel so good coming out of this break. A lot to do this morning because I was not fully prepared for the week before I left for break. I wanted to be truly I did, however, sometimes things just don't go the way you want. I am planned for the month. I can show you here. These are roughly my plans. I also got a haircut. <laughs> I just remembered. That was busy. Um, the hard thing about December, looking at my calendar now, is we have one, two, three weeks. This week is a pretty normal week. Next week we have map testing. Week after that, it's going to be like gingerbread, gingerbread <laughs> themed things. So I'm not even sure like what I want to do in terms of like phonics and I had someone ask me this past week they said I'm a new teacher something like I'm a new teacher I'm feeling overwhelmed I don't know where to start how do you know what and when to teach it and I've answered this question a few times but I have a scope and sequence that I follow or that guides me but a lot of times as a teacher you really just have to work around things and get to things when you can and be okay with not doing every single thing you want to do and prioritize like this is more important and I don't have time for everything so I'm going to do this instead so I feel like week to week I'm just like the most classic example of that especially being at a new school. I also need to call Lowe's see if they'll donate some poinsettias. Sorry I'm not looking at you. I also realized I'm doing place value this week or at least I'm starting so I'm trying to finish my place value number song to the tune of Savage Love. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now and I wanted to kind of film some of it. Usually I would tell you you see is what you get if you have a number and it's got more than two. Usually I would tell you what you see is what you get but when you're but when you're Doing math when you see your numbers, you have to know the only reason that you can expand a number. I just found out the only reason that you're loving me, you can expand a number into what it's really worth. You can expand a number into what it's really worth if you know your tens are ten and 
you know your two digit number. If you know your tens are ten with one zero four. If you know your tens are made up of the not made up of the ones you course or door lore. You can expand a number into what it's really worth if you know your tens are made up of the ones you sore board door core lore for into what it's really worth if you know your tens are made up of the ones next door. You can exchange, regroup, rearrange. It's really worth if you know your tens are made up of the ones next door. You can exchange, regroup, and rearrange. I know it sounds strange, but the ones next door. You can exchange it. No, it's too much. Okay, kids went to specials. I knew I was so close to finishing the song, and I did it. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy face. Love, Mrs. Love, Mrs. Carl. We have about five minutes. Who wants to share something that happened on their break? We're not, or... learning. We're not learning today? We're, of course we're learning today! She got a bearded dragon! How many of you have seen that before? You love headbands? I love the game headbands too, where you put your headband around your head, Des. I know I have that game. You just gave me an idea. Okay, I need to write this idea down. That's so funny that that happened to you guys. What do you want to share? I love that. Well, I missed you guys so much. I can't wait to hear more about what happened um, this break. So we'll talk more later, too. If you didn't get a chance to tell me right now, um, my director, my helper can go ahead and line us up. We are going to art. Remember, your eyes are glued to the card, and we're saying it three times together. If you don't know the first... If you don't know the first time, make sure you say it the second and the third time. Turn your bodies towards me. A, A, A. A. Good. You hear normal speaking voice. I'd, I'd, I'd. Ush, ush, ush. Meat, like ham or turkey is meat. Spell meat. M, E, A, T. Ast, ast, ast. Like in the word blast, like a loud blast. Ready? Spell blast. B L A S T. Blast. Beautiful. There was two bloods, one at the beginning and one at the end. Who can tell me about this secret in this rhyme really quickly? Yeah, the superhero cape, which lets the R say its name, right? Beautiful. AI says, because when two vowels go walking, the first one Beautiful, ready? Ait, ait, ait. Do our phonics for this week. We are practicing not one, but two skills because they're kind of like skill brothers in a way. They're very similar. And we've practiced one a whole bunch this year. This is the week I wanna make sure every single person can tell me what the letters say. Are you ready? Yes. Bull and ing. Yep, you got it. Okay. Word detectives. Okay, the secrets we're practicing today they are kind of like skill brothers or secret brothers. So in your center folder this week, you'll also have two different things we're practicing. LL. Here we go. This skill, quite a few times, but we've mostly done it with the sound. Sing it with me. C E C I C Y. Beautiful, but there is another letter that just like C can make a different sound depending on what letters are right next door to it. So we have C E C I C Y says this week we're practicing G E G I G Y says J J J. We're gonna sing the song like this. Ready? Ready? C E C I C Y. G E G I G Y J J. Okay, we're going to read some words together, and you are going to help me figure out how or which spelling matches the picture. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I love it. Why is it true? Because mommy E is there. Because mommy E is here. True. Oops. Truce. Good. This is a picture of a truce. Do you know what a truce is? Yeah, like where they greet each other. Not where you greet each other, but it's where you kind of come to a compromise in a way. You yeah. you have a truce. You're gonna get along. A truce. Yes. Ready? Help me read this word. Mm -ick -mick. No. Mm -mm. Ready? Mm -mm. 
Ready? Mm, I. writing them today. Oops, where's my remote? Oh my gosh, five, four, I found it, three, two, one, and we're done. Okay, let's practice with the word. If you were to lose your remote, you would have been fired. I know. Let's practice the word slice. Say slice. Good, I hear a blend. I hear a blend. Where's my remote? If you, if you wanted um, teach your kids to learn, you would get really um, fired. Yeah, you get fired. Okay. If you didn't get your. If I didn't teach you guys. Say slice. Slice. What do you hear at the beginning? S L. I hear a. B blend. A blend. Good. What sound? You hear at the very beginning. So good. Ready? O. I. S. I hear that. Sounds, but I know it's, a it's C. not an S. How do I spell C? C, 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 C. Good. What's this word? Slice. Slice. Good. I need everyone's eyes up here. S T. Good. St a. a. That is a superhero A. So who do I know is going to be at the e. end? E. I know Mommy E is going to be at the end. Ready? St a. J. How am I spelling that J sound? G. G. E. Stage. One more. I do not think this book has sound effects, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. All right, this book is called Share Some Kindness, Bring Some Light. And funny enough, we're actually going to take away the light so we can see. So this book was donated to our class, actually by someone really, really special. It's the same person who makes all of our little pictures. She donated this book to us. Her name is Alicia. That's so nice. My, I love the illustrations. I want to take a moment just to look at how detailed these illustrations are. Will you look with me for just a moment? I can see the texture of the tree, the curls in her hair, the poofiness of her tutu, the hairs on the bear. That looks so weird. It looks really interesting, doesn't it? Coco and Bear were friends from almost the first time they met. Friends, but they were also different. different. Can you be friends with someone who's different from you? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Even if you have different character traits. Character Can traits describe, describe a character. How do you share kindness? That's what her grandma always said to do. Turn and tell your friend, what is the, a way that you can share kindness? Kindness, something I can hold in my hand and give no. to you. No. no. So this is an expression. Say expression. 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 <laughs> Good. So an expression is something that you say that doesn't necessarily mean exactly what it sounds like. So when she's, when her grandma says, 
Share some kindness. She really means what? Share some kindness. What does that mean though? Be, be to be kind, kind, right? Be kind. Share some kindness. Bring some, some light. light. Somebody's heart. Yeah, I love that she said light, like warm somebody's heart, right? Like a bright, positive feeling. <coughs> yeah, you remember the sign that said, no bears. These people were afraid of him. So I wonder... <coughs> Why are they bringing gifts to those people who said mean things? Put your shirt down. Why are they bringing gifts to the people who said mean things? Guys, remember what it means when we see these three dots? Yes. What does it mean? It means pause. It's like a pause. And it creates some suspense, like something's going to happen. Listen. Suspicious. The walk home was cold, and the only sound was the crunch of paws and boots through snow. Until Suspicious. something... Oh no. oh no, that's what I'm feeling too. Feel bad. Your characters change. Change. Did our main character in the story change? Yes. No. Yes. No. Who is our main character? Bear. 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 Did he change? Yes. How did he change? Um, I'm he was sad and yeah, true. Maybe he was sad and then he was happy. Who else changed in our book? Good point. Um, um, skunk. Skunk. Okay, skunk. Hedgehog. Animal. Bunny. Rabbit. Badger. 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 They changed their mind about Bear. Now they're going to be friends or do you think now they're going to go back to their own life? Friends. 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 You think? Friends. You think that one thing that Bear did could possibly change their mind? Yes. Fiction or non-fiction? Fiction. Fiction. Fiction because it's bacon made. Uh, uh. The cookies, they thought they were being tricked, right? They didn't really trust Bear, did they? They said, no, thanks, no thanks. After they were sad that no one accepted their gifts and they were walking through, we heard, help, help, and who was it? Baby deer. Oh my goodness, it was baby deer. Can you use one of our vocabulary words to describe how they felt? Generous. Yeah, maybe they thought he was generous. Miss Call's going to hang him up and we'll use it to decorate our classroom for Christmas time so too. Bring it and then we're also going to be doing testing. Here is what I need from you to make sure we have a super fun last week before break. You're going to wrap up your super secret book. Don't tell anybody what book it is. You are not going to put your name on it or anything. Just one little right. thing. Before Thanksgiving, way before Thanksgiving, we started a new type of writing called a personal narrative. Good. A personal narrative is a true story about who? You. It's a true story about you. When you are writing today, you are going to be doing a planning page. And a planning page is important because it helps us to organize our thoughts. All we're doing today is getting a plan onto paper. Say plan. Plan. It's our brainstorming, okay? Hold on. Put it, okay. Miss Call's going to model what it looks like to do a planning page. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? We're just making a sketch. Write a story today about, oh gosh, I don't know, I need to think. I want to write a true story about something that happened to me. I need some private think time. Hmm. A true story. What is something in my life? that I remember, that I can write about. That I remember about Thanksgiving? Can I write about Halloween? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna write about going to Disneyland. I remember buying tickets and I remember going on an airplane and I remember getting to Disney and eating all the delicious food and going on the rides and riding Space Mountain for the very first time. For yeah, I was there. I saw her while I was in Disneyland. We got on the Spider-Man ride. And then afterwards we left and I was so tired and I slept on the plane on the way back home. 
that was a really good trip. Okay, so where do I start? The beginning of my story. Here's the front window. I'm gonna use my good people drawing. If you say you're terrible at something, guess what? You're gonna be terrible at it. But if you say I'm working on getting better, guess what? You're gonna get better at it. And my face is gonna show how excited I am. And we're at the airport and we have our tickets and then we're flying and we get to Disney World. Castle in the background, so it's gonna look a little bit smaller. Perfect, that's not really what the roller coaster looked exactly like, but. But you're yeah. trying your best. Yeah. Me and John got tickets to go to Disneyland and then we went to Disneyland, we saw the castle, we got on the roller coaster. And the last thing we did was we had food and we left. So I'm gonna draw me eating food. Eating food. Can you guess what kind of food that I had at Disney? The Land? Mickey pretzel. Uh, Ice cream. No. Uh, it was zero. It was good. Zero. Yeah. zero. The turkey leg. Ooh, pretty. Oh, oh. Pretzel. Do you see how I took my time with my picture? Yeah. yeah. I went back and I added labels. All I want you to do is make a sketch. We are not going to color. We're not going to do um, anything yeah, else except yeah. sketch and label. Because tomorrow we're going to be going into more detail Yay. about what happened. I just want to know the three most important parts of your story. We're just sketching. We're just using pencil. Make sure you label. The quietest house is going to get a house point. When I call your house, you're going to get your paper. Do not worry about this line right here. This is title. Your name goes at the very top, okay? House of, um, <laughs> name, 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 name. Inside your name. your heart if you know what this man is holding in both of his hands. What is that that he's holding? A scale. Have you guys heard that word before? Yes. yes. A scale actually means two things. It can be a scale like on a snake or like a dragon, a scale or it can be something that you use to measure to see how much weight something has. Okay, what is a scale used for? Exactly, because a lot of times when we buy produce, we buy it by the weight. Okay, so what do you, excuse me, what do you notice about the scale the man has? So you think one of the sides represents something heavy and one of the sides represents something light, right? Yeah. Okay, I want you to look at this call. This coffee, I could hold it like this, right? Yeah. But if I were to pick a TV, would my arms go up or would my arms go down? Down. Down, because it's heavy, right? We talked about gravity. Gravity pulls us down, right? This is the heavy or the light side? Light. Light, right? It's light. It's easier. It can float higher. We're lighter. It's so easy. If I was holding a pen in my hand, I could hold it way up here. It's so light. But if I was holding a brick, or like a oh, it would be so heavy. I mean, one side could be heavy. What if they were the same? Then we'd call it even. Even. What's another word? Equal. Equal. Even. What else? The same, good, what else? If both of my sides were here, it'd be equal, it'd be the same. We would say the scale is B, B. Big. Big. Yes. Do you know this word balance? Yeah. Balance, yes. like if I balance on one leg, I can balance, I can stay there. I like balance at gymnastics. So if they were the same, we'd say it's balance. Okay, I have something very fun for you guys today. So we are done with our doubles, done with our double superstar song. We are moving into something brand new. It's something we've talked about before, but we are really going to practice it this month. It is called Place Value. And oh my goodness, C-E-C-I-C-Y. Can anybody tell me what they think that means, place value? With a brand new song, and our song is to the tune of a song we know. Savage Love. So our new song, Place Value, is to the tune of Savage Love. And Miss Cole knows that you guys are a way better singer than me. So I'm gonna need you to learn it really fast, okay? You gotta know your, your place value. If you have a number and it's got more than two, it's called Place Value. If you have a number and it's got more than two. Okay, ready to try the chop? Miss Cole's getting hot. Every number has a Okay. Oh, thank you. We'll try it one more time with 
with music, okay? There's three numbers in there. I know, I have one, two, three spots. If I make $291, it looks like this. You would be rich. Well, no, you wouldn't. You need thousands. $291, but every number has a place. You've got to know your place by you. Your teacher told you it's true. Okay? So what I really did, do you remember these? Yes, yes. From when we were doing team numbers. So Miss Cole has what at the top? Ten. 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 And we know ten. And two more is what? Twelve. Twelve. This first digit right here on this side. When you know your doubles pretty well, you know six plus six equals twelve. You got it. I love you guys so much. Okay. So this place right here is called the ones. Can I say ones? Ones. Can I have it? Oh, what number? What number is in the ones place? A two. A two. So two ones. What number is in the tens place? One. A one is in the tens place, but it's not really a one. We know that it's actually a zero. Not a zero. It's a ten. We know this is ten, and two more. The zero is just hiding. Okay, so 12 is really 10 and 2 more. That is place value. Our 1s and our 10s. 1s, 10s, 100s, even 1000s too. You've got to know your place value. Was our friendly number? 10. Yes, 10 is our friendly number. And that number is even more important whenever we are talking about place value. And I'll explain right here in just a second. I have those ten. on my house. 10, right? We know that 10 ones can be put together to make a 10, right? Yeah, I have those on my house. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they look like <coughs> when they are broken apart into 10s and 1. Because you're going to use place value in first grade and second grade, and third grade, and fourth grade, and fifth grade, all the way up to high school. You're gonna be all the way up to high school, they use place value. So is this important? It is like the most important, okay? After our focus work, you move on your own to rocket math and freckle, okay? After you do this, you have a math mission, a brand new math mission in the double jar. Are your doubles and your doubles plus one. Well, your focus work is work that you do by yourself. So if you're gonna sit next to someone that is distracting you, is that a strong choice? No. No. I want you to look at the very first problem. Ah! Look at the very first problem. How many groups of 10 do you see in the first problem? I see three groups of 10 in my first Okay, I want you to mark them with your pen or your pencil and count them. Our one, Two, three tens. Is that what you got? Yes. Okay, so on our first spot. Okay, what's our next spot for? The ones. Okay, I want you to mark and count how many ones. Match that. Three tens and six ones. We have four tens and one, two, three, four, five ones. Let's, let's listen and count. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43. I want you to try the last two by yourself. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, wait. When we count our tens, we have to make sure we count by tens like this. 10, 20, you do it. 10, 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, one. So five tens and one one is what number all together? Twelve. Okay, let's count by tens. Ready? Ten, twenty, thirty. One more is fifty. Fifty-one. Good. It's five and one put together. Fifty-one. A number plus a number equals nine. Less. 
Good job. Okay, end of the day, I'm not gonna stay in chat for too long. Um, it was a really great day, and I especially enjoyed math. They're really excited about our new song, and our flow today was just really, really nice. It's also really cool because it was our first day hopping back into everything, and they did so well, which just tells me how much they were craving that structure back. So hopefully we continue down this road for the next three weeks before Christmas. Granted, our schedule's gonna be a mess, but <laughs> crossing your fingers. Uh, Log. Log, feed it. My turn, help me, ready? <laughs> App. Cap. Flick. F-L-I-C-K. Good. And what do you call it when the lights go in and out? They flicker. Flick Good. Let's spell the word flicker. Ready? F-L-I-C-K-E-R. Let's spell training. Ready? T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G. Training. All right, we're gonna go into blending. We've been working with one of our secrets. C E C I C Y G E G I G Y. G -G. Okay, we're gonna practice writing some more words, and I need your help. Ready? Oop, it's hard to see. This is a can, and on the can, this little arrow is pointing to the price. price. Say price. Price. Good. I hear a blend. What blend do you hear? Ice. What? Per. 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 Spell per. P-R. Good. Per I. Superhero I. I hear superhero I, which means we're going to have who at the end? Mommy. Mommy. E. Good. How do I spell the sound? C-E. Good. Which one are we going to use? C-E. C-E. Price. Dice. And mice. Rhyme. Sound the same. They have that rhyme. They have ice, ice, ice. I want you to spell... Dice. D. D. I. C. C. E. Dice. Cage, ready? A. A. J. Ready? K. How do I spell it? C. 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 Good. K. A. How do I spell it? A. 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 Good. K. A. J. J. This is a picture of a sun. Close. Yeah, you're right. That is a sun. But this is what's this part? Okay, it's a stage. Trying to bring some light. You guys are going to be writing the beginning, middle, and end of this story on your own. Yay! Maybe next. Maybe next week we'll do another shared writing together. But you guys are going to get to read the beginning, middle, and the end on your own. Are you ready to read it one more time? Um, let me see if it has sound effects. I don't think so. The thing bear is so big, exclaimed rabbit. And brave, said hedgehog. I hope you turn and talk to a friend because now it's going to be your turn to write. You are going to write the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story in your own words. I'm looking for capital letters. I'm looking for finger spaces. And I am looking for punctuation. Capital letter always is Finger spaces, way too wet. Finger spaces, I know my heart. Finger spaces between your sad. Ah. Uh, Punctuation at the end. Wanted to bake cookies. Okay, he wanted. How about we say he wanted to give gifts? Okay, ready? Capital letter, always first. I'm right here. Our ending for the D sound is spelled E D. Help D. All right, I want you guys to try to write the ending by yourself, okay? I don't know. No, don't say you don't know. What did his friends think about him? Good. Do that. They thought he was nice. Don't know what to do. Cage. 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 How this one? Add. 
Joke. Magic? Yeah. Joke. Rage? Yes, Rage. Little funny name. Your name it as a month. Personal? Personal? Narrative. Narrative. Who can tell me what a personal narrative is? Everybody's hand should go up. Everybody should know. It's a true story about you. You. You are the main character. So yesterday we worked on planning <laughs> out our story the best we could. Does it have to be perfect? No. No, it's just a plan. It's just somewhere for us to start. Start. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on the beginning of our story. Say beginning. Beginning. It's what happened first in our story. And I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to take just a moment to look at my picture and think about what happened. Think about everything that I can remember. Can you give me just a second? I'm only talking about the beginning. So in the beginning, me and John had tickets to get on a plane. We were going to California. We were so excited to go to Disney World. I'm gonna take the beginning of my story and I'm gonna work on my first draft in my folder, or in my journal. journal. Are you ready to help me? Yeah. I really need your help. When I think back to my story, I think about when me and John got the ticket. So when did me and John go to Disneyland? When? Um, um, <clears throat> it was on a Friday, you're right. So, but when was that Friday? Um, the 29th. Was it the 29th? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 28th. It was the 29th. This Hold on. My birthday. Oh. Hold on, let me check. In October, John is capitalized because John is. I am part of John. Finger spaces between words. And I. And I. I is capitalized because I am good. Tickets. Tick. No. Tick. Say tick. This sound at the end is going to be what? CK. It's going to be a CK because this is a short vowel. And now I'm going to tell you how I felt because when I read about how somebody is feeling, it makes the story more interesting how do you think me and john were feeling about yeah. going to disneyland joyful. elated joyful okay let me think what i want to use in october john and i got tickets for disneyland we were so thrilled thrilled i like that one we were yeah. thrilled we capital I letter always, always first. first we am i just gonna put a period no what am i gonna use Mark. Good, say exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Looks like this. Then I can say, we were thrilled to fly on a plane. You read it. In October, we were thrilled to fly on a plane. Plane. All right, Miss Call wrote two sentences. You need to write at least two sentences. I told you what I was doing in October. John and I got tickets. And I told you how I felt. We were thrilled. You need to make sure you tell me what you're doing and how you felt, okay? If you understand, I want you to say, I'm a silly chicken. I'm a silly chicken. If you understand, give me the quiet coyote. He, 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 I tricked you. November 27th, me and my family, Sam, and Okay, so let's listen for where our punctuation should be. In August, I was so mad at this game because it scammed me. Punctuation at the end. We don't need this period. On September 12th, me and my mom did. I put a comma right here. Me and my mom got tickets to go on a plane. We were so happy to go to Universal's. You went to Universal? You spelled this right, but there's lots of different there. So there's there like over there, and then there's there like their baby. I like their food is gonna be this one. I said, hey. Huh? Hey. I said, hey, good. So you took the remote. I said, 
Hey, Mom, I'm so proud of you. In March, my family got tickets for, ooh, Hawaii. That's really cool. I've never been there before, Hawaii. It spells a little different. We got tickets for Hawaii. We were happy to fly on the plane. I was so, 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 so happy. My sister, my sister was too. We'll start with Jeff Drive to Disneyland. Beautiful job, go draw your picture. I played with my cousin Max, right? Okay, beautiful job. You have the word play spelled perfectly. Our ending for the d sound is actually two letters. Do you remember what two letters? Go check our magic endings. Yes, E D. Oh, don't worry. Good. I played with my cousin Max. So if this is your punctuation, then we're gonna capitalize the very next letter. And then we drove to Utah? Hey, nice job, buddy. You used all those sounds. Utah is actually spelled like that. And then we drove to Utah. And it took two hours drive. Is that your punctuation? Good, so we'll capitalize this letter. My computer. This word when is with our WH. <laughs> Eh, mm. when I er I d you're so close on this one. This is the word arrive. That's okay. And this word is arrived. When I arrived, I went to a amusement. Good. Amusement. Amusement. Uh, that's okay. M use amuse m and okay. Uh, amusement. I went to a amusement park tomorrow. When we write the middle of our stories, you're at your table. You're working. You're writing. If you're done, you don't need to tell me. Just get your AR book, move oh. to the carpet. When I see you go to the carpet, I'll say, oh, I know, he's ready. I'm gonna call him to my table and talk with him, okay? That's how I know you're done. But that's what it's gonna look like, is you're gonna move to the carpet. Now it's time for math, and we are doing something super fun and super important in math, and it's called place value. It's called place value. Did somebody, did somebody ever tell you? because yesterday we talked a lot about the zeros hiding, right? That's why I changed that part to make it make more sense. Say it with me. Equal exchanging. Beautiful. We're going to do these two and then the really fun part. Ready? Place value. Did somebody, did somebody ever tell you? One cent, Two tens is worth how much? 
two tens is really 20. This zero is really hiding underneath here. We have 20. How many more do we need to make it 25? Um, five. We need five more. I want you to get five ones. You're gonna use your, your thing like this, watch. In the top is where you're gonna build it. So you're gonna put 10, 20, and then put five ones on this side. A group of 10 fits all the way across, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a group of 10. It kind of looks, like if I just look at the top part, it looks like what you have, doesn't it? It's a group of 10, and then another group of 10. And how many ones? Five ones, watch me. One, 25. If you have your paper, I want you to arrange your tens and ones so that you build the number 25 directly on top. Get with me? 32. Now wait for me. This number has how many tens? Three. Three tens. What's hiding under this two? Zero. A zero is hiding. I want you to start by building 30 on your board. Miss Call's gonna do it too. Build 30. How many groups of 10? 30. Three. I have three groups of 10. One, two, three. Three groups of 10. In the number 32, how many ones do I have? I need your attention. How many ones do I have? Two. Two ones. It's in the ones place. I want you to build 32. But how many groups of 10 do we have? Three. One, two, two three. three. How many ones do we have? Two. Two. One, two. How many ten groups of ten will I need? Two. I'll just need two. I want you to make the, the number 22. Good. Was that easy or was it hard? Easy. That was easy. Which, excuse me, eyes up here. Which place changed? Our tens place or our ones place? Ten. Our tens place changed. If I make this number instead of 22, 42, which place changed? The tens or the ones place? Ten. The tens place changed. I want you to build the number 42. Go ahead. If I change our number from 42 to 40. Five, which number changes, our tens or our ones? Ones. Our ones. So using your ones, make this number say 45. Good. Did you have to change your tens? Did you have to change your tens? No, they stayed the same. We still have four groups of ten. One, two, three, four. We still have four groups of ten. Thank you for being a really good pretender with Miss Paul. Because my okay, I think I did a decent job of getting things filmed for you guys today. Um, we did really, really well up until lunch. Like centers went great, small groups went great. Everything was fine. And then when we came back from lunch, we did Hegarty, and I noticed a lot of my kids were just like off in La La Land, which during Hegarty they need to be paying attention. So that was the struggle. And then after that, it just seemed like. It didn't get better, <laughs> which we love. I did try to work in more brain breaks, but like we just came from recess. I don't know what it was today or if they were just done, but it seemed like after Hegarty, things did not get any better. We did the beginning of our personal narrative, so I modeled all that for them. I think I filmed it for you too. And it's so funny because this class, like no other, really, really takes to my teacher modeling like very what's the word not explicitly very literally so I was trying to be specific about when I went to Disneyland and actually one of my kids knew the exact day that I went to Disneyland because it falls between like other kids birthdays and it was like right after space day and they remembered all of it and I was really impressed however I modeled saying like in October and then probably like 70% of my kids wrote in August, in March, in November. <laughs> I thought it was really, really funny because they were so literal about it. Um, but we did our, our first part of that. And this, this being almost December, I'm having them write more than I did at the beginning of the year. And so my own 
pacing, I guess, was a little bit off because normally they all would kind of finish around the same time, but now they're more spread apart, so they're taking longer. Some of them are, some of them are writing more sentences. So what I had them do in the past is come up to me or like raise their hand or something and I would go to them and I would talk about their writing with them. Um, but I spent the other day in one of my co not co-teachers, one of my one of my friends in third grade. I was in her class the other day, and it was during her writing block. And she had her third graders reading AR books, and I think they like wrote their name or did something, so that she knew who to call up to have a little like writing conference with. So while they were waiting on her, they were just reading their AR books, and I really liked that. So I told them today, I was like, we're gonna switch it up because this was, it was too loud, it was too crazy. This is how we're gonna do it from here on out, and I think I'm gonna really like it. Um, so my plan is, whenever we're doing our writing, they'll have either their paper or their writing journals most of the time. Whenever they're done with their writing journal, I want to have them just set, just quietly set their journal on my table right here. So they'll set it on my table and then they'll take their AR book to the carpet. That way, all the kids who are writing are over here, quietly writing in a perfect world. I'll have journals so I'll know who is finished with their writing so I can call and talk to them about it and then my finished kids are reading AR. So that's what we're going to try starting tomorrow um, and I've never done it like that before. In fact in the past I wasn't talking with students about their writing the day they did it. I usually just had them put it away and then on a separate day I would go back and edit with them but sometimes with first graders if they're not the most perfect spellers they do not have any clue what they said and I just feel like immediate feedback is more valuable than even the next day feedback. So I'm going to try this out and see how I like it. Update you tomorrow. Math was kind of rough. It was good in the sense that I feel like the lesson went really well and I feel like I taught it really well, but they just struggled. They were struggling at this point. Um, I think the, the concept is clicking for them. So our place value song is going to be, it's valuable now, but it's going to be more valuable when we start adding and subtracting tens and ones. Um, so I'm kind of just like building that in as we go, kind of like with our space song. The second we started learning about space, we started seeing it, even though the material in the song wasn't fully applicable at the very, very beginning of it, it builds. So by the time we really get into the nitty gritty of place value, they'll have that song memorized and it'll be easy to call upon. But anyways, that was our day. It's right after school. I'm going home. I'm trying to be better about like my habits and working out and just trying to be better. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. Today is Wednesday. I walked into the office this morning and a ton of people were trying to get a picture with me and I was like, was there some kind of email I missed? There was. Our principal sent out a little, like a challenge. So you're supposed to take a selfie with as many people as possible. And then at, at 3.20, he's gonna call a random person's name on the intercom and then if you have a selfie with that person, you're supposed to text it to him and the first five people win a prize. And I never win things like this, but- First smarter and not harder. Therefore, selfies must include people who are actually breathing. You cannot take pictures of pictures with you in the pictures. Some of you wisecrackers are going around hall to hall and taking selfies with the pictures in the houses, and that does not work. It's smart, but it does not work. At the end of the day, you will, I will do an announcement probably when I get in from uh, dismissal. I will do an announcement, and then whoever sends me the picture of the person and themselves, the first five will win a gift card. Good luck, but the whole goal is for you to go around and meet people and take pictures with them. So please, please, please collaborate. I think for the most part I'm good to go. Good for math, I'm good for phonics, I'm good for... I read aloud. Today we're talking about main idea. We're going to talk more about the character traits as we read the story. We're going to try our new writing today. Yeah, I think I'm good. After Haggerty, what do we do? Writing. 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 Will you put that away? For writing, what are we working on? Um, personal narrative. Push your brain. Personal narrative is a? Um, thing. A, a true, true story, story about, about you. you. About you. Good. We have all begun writing our personal narratives. Yesterday, or first, we made a plan. We brainstormed. Yesterday, we started writing the beginning of our story. Will you read with me? In October, 
Now the middle of my story was about me and John being at Disney World and we saw the castle, we rode a few rides, and there were other things that I did too. There's other details that I remember that I didn't draw, but that I can include in my writing. So I'm gonna turn to a new clean page. I'm a writing superstar. Before I start writing, I need to what? Get, I need to think of my words. Good job, because your brain. I need to think about what I'm going to say. So I'm going to use my picture and start thinking to myself. Give me quiet, private think time. All right, my turn. Your turn. Today I'm going to sound out the words by myself. You're just going to watch me because I want to give you more time to write. When we got to Disneyland, there was so much to do. Have you ever went somewhere and then looked around and thought, oh my gosh, there's just so much to yeah, do? Yeah. That's, That's how I felt when I walked into Disneyland. Yeah. When, capital letter always first. Did you stay in the hotel? We actually did stay in a hotel. But that was a small detail. So if I was writing a super detailed story, I could definitely talk about checking into the hotel and putting down our bags and getting ready and going. But this is the part... Yeah, but this is the part I want to write about. When we got to Disney, and I put a comma here because I took a pause. When we got to Disney, there was so much. There was so much. And saw the castle, pumpkins, and... Favorite ride was Space Mountain, so I'm going to make sure I put that in here. Oh, Space Mountain? It's called I My Brother's Arms Favorite Ride, too. Really? I made sure that I have capital letter after all of my punctuation. Ready? Watch. Punctuation, capital letter. Punctuation, capital letter. You're going to work quietly on your tables and do the best writing that you can. Use a pencil and you write. Then... When you've checked your work, you're going to put your notebook on my table. I'm going to draw a picture of my table. And there's Miss Paul. There's me. Now it looks like you're wearing a dress. <clears throat> and set it down. Not throw it down. When you set your notebook down, that tells me you are ready for me to talk with you about your writing. I know that because you set your notebook down on my table. You're going to then get a book. You can read an AR book on the carpet. It's not talk with your friends time. 20 minutes for writing. You are going to write as much as you can about the middle of your story. Okay. Good job, going back and checking. Bye. Help you too, okay? Okay. Don't come up to me right now. This is your time to write, okay? Sound it out and then I'll help you. Okay. When we get to Six Flags, we ride a lot of rides. Good. This part here, we ride. This eye is a superhero eye, right? This says r i d. Make it say r i d. Oh, what so do we need? Mommy. Put this up and continue reading. Another page. Got to my cabin. I ate dinner. Beautiful job. And we played. It was so 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 fun. Beautiful. The only thing I want to talk to you about. I ate dinner. This is our rhyme, right? Okay. In, din, din, er. What do we need to do right here? Not a D. We have to double the letter before we add our ending. So it'll look like this. Din, er. My mom made a fort for me, me and, and my cousin, cousin and I. And I, we were excited. Okay, let's see. My mom made. I love how you use two vowels here to make that A sound. Made is gonna be spelled like this, with a mommy E here, okay? M -a -d, made. My mom made a fort for 
me and my cousin. And that'll be the end of our sentence right there. Read it for me. I went to This is such an interesting story. You included so many details to really pull me into your story. Let's go back and check again. Good. Is that an important place? Let's go ahead and capitalize yeah, it. This is important. No, you're okay. Really is one of those words that's really tricky. Yeah. <laughs> really. All right, you can continue reading. Capital letters and those punctuation, okay? So let's look at your writing. Do you have a capital letter to start your sentence here? Where's the letter H? This is good. Which one is the capital letter? This big one right here is the capital letter, okay? So we want to start our sentence with an H that looks like this. So I'm going to show you here that, okay? V punctuation. In August, I was so mad at this game because it scammed me and I broke the computer. I told my mom I broke the computer and she was not happy. We'll put a punctuation right here because that's where we're going to pause. I told my mom I broke the computer and she was not happy. Also, she drive to the store. Beautiful job. A mommy E here, beautiful job. Then continue reading. What? On September 12th, me and my mom got tickets to go on a plane. There was a lot to do. Me and my mom went on the mummy ride. It was so scary, we even screamed too. I don't want to go on that ride anymore. I love that detail. I can see it like a movie in my head. I love all those details. School punctuation here, so let's just make sure this is a capital. And also my sister came to my and also my sister came too. My cousin came and it was so fun. Good. Line right here where you say, My dad said whenever we see this in books, it is usually followed by quotation marks. You've seen this before, right? I want you to practice adding these in your writing when someone is saying something. So come close. So he said, you want to go find more snow? This is what he said. So we're gonna put quotation marks around this part. So up in the sky, like this, oops and like this. The quotation marks are holding what the person is saying. So if you said yes, where would you put here? Where would you put the quotation marks? They're going to hold what you say. And right here to close it. You you even read out the space and you kept writing. Yeah. First of all, um who are you? Amazing. Okay. I'm going to go back to the beginning of your story just so I remember what happened. But to the hotel and we got set said settled and then spot spot snack spot there was a snack spot yeah that's so cool okay so then we went to the snack spot and settled in capital letter and then we went to the pool good capital letter and then we got in bed watch your bees i could not be more proud of you i love seeing how much you guys have grown as writers I am so proud of you. Like, I almost cried so many times reading your writing because you guys are doing such a good job. It is insane. You guys are amazing. You're about to cry right now. Because I'm so super proud of you. But it's time for math. So, in math, we're talking about place value. We're going to start with our place value song. Which is called Remember Our, our Brain Break. No, Brain Break. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. Brain Break. No. If you have a number and it's got more than no, you've got to know your place value. Usually I would tell you numbers can't lie, but there's really zeros hiding inside. You can expand a number into what it's really worth if you know your tens are made up of the ones that short. I want you guys to try to sing it. Yes. I'm going to whisper. Ready? You can expand and change a lot of groups if you need to just remember people exchange.
So I'm pretty sure I did not come on yesterday and tell you how my day was, but yesterday was a pretty awesome day. I don't have the energy to <laughs> go into depth and I also don't remember, so which is why I vlog, because my memory is, is awful. Um, so let's move on to today, which I also did not come to you this morning. It is after school, by the way. So today was, it was okay, but I personally was overstimulated by the kids today. Like, it just seems like they were so loud. Um, which is really hard for me. I need to get like, I need to bring like my AirPods or something. I saw, I think Jess does that. Hello, Miss Romeo, or did she change her name again? Uh, I think she does that where she'll put like an AirPod in, an AirPod or a noise canceling headphone or something in one ear. I don't know where my charger is for my voice amplifier. And so I'm like struggling with that because I like to keep my voice like my natural voice and not have to like raise it so they can hear me um, but if I'm like saying something for everyone I don't know I just I need to figure out a solution for that because I can't find the charger because I personally love teaching with a voice amplifier um, I had a mom come in today during RAR time which is always 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 so helpful because I'm working with kids usually and just having another parent in the room help them decode some words is really helpful because I've told you about my struggle with AR books in the past with them not being, you know, aligned to any kind of scope and sequence. And so the kids are seeing all sorts of words that they just haven't had enough practice with. And so having another mom come in and help them sound out the words and teach them a little bit too is really, really great. She stayed afterwards a little bit and helped me with um, like one of the computer programs I'm starting to I'm trying to start up. It's called Zern, like the word learn, but with a Z. Um, one of my friends in third grade, Megan, she uses it and she recommended it. So I'm going to give it a shot. But having her in here was actually kind of nice because I love when parents can see firsthand what it looks like and what it sounds like when we're all learning together and the things that we're doing. So she was actually here during our like rhyme magic and during our phonics and during our read aloud today. And I liked having her like in here and kind of just seeing like how things go and I wish more of my parents had the opportunity to come in and see it. Um, a lot of times I will, not a lot of times, but often enough, <laughs> most of the time the kids ask me to do it. Um, they'll say, can you film this for our parents? And I'll film them like during whole group phonics or during whole group rhyme magic or during something else because they want to show off to their parents what they're learning because they're so excited and proud of themselves, um, which I haven't done. I haven't done one of those lately where I just film them and me teaching them. <laughs> um, so I need to do that. Mostly I've just been filming whenever they're doing independent work. So um, they love for me to go on and show, you know, their parents what they're doing and the parents love to see it too. Um, I also messaged a couple parents last night and just kind of bragged on some kids for how awesome they were doing. Like some of my kids, their writing is just, just blowing me away. Like one little girl couldn't read CBC words at the beginning of the year and now she's writing so much and she's so excited about it. And one of my boys who still struggles with like CBC words and vowels, he has like moved past that block and he's actually able to write a story. And of course it's, it's a pre-writing. It's not fully what it should be, but he's getting there. And then some of my other kids who I'm conferencing with every day in their writing the next day they're actually using what I conferenced with them and they're improving their writing the very next day so I'm loving 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 our new writing structure the only problem is I need to really work with them and figure out a way to keep them quiet when they're done because they're reading their books but then like they're not reading their heads obviously because they're six and seven so like the volume just keeps creeping up and up and up so I need to just be better about enforcing um, the voice level. So today I had everybody stop and like put it up and like put their heads down and we talked about it and then we tried again and it was better. But it's just one of those things where it's like, it can become really overwhelming for someone who can get overwhelmed really easily. So trying really hard to set them up for success. Um, yeah, that was writing. Math, I didn't use any place, place value base 10 blocks today. I just practiced on the skill of expanding and then um, as we continue we're still going to use place value blocks but I just wanted to like show them the numbers and expanding and all of that. With my math small groups what I'm doing is they're doing 
they're doing their focus work and the kids that I, and I can check this like super fast. Um, this really is kind of like an exit ticket in a way. I'm not, that's why I'm not giving them 700 problems. Um, but I can check it super, super fast. So as I'm checking their focus work, um, as soon as they get done, they know to hop right into our next thing, which is basically like a math fluency. And then they do their math mission down here, which I've talked about now so much. Um, but I call them directly back to my table if it's something that they struggled with and I completely reteach it for them. So my math small groups are gonna be more with the place value blocks um, for those kids who still, it's not quite clicking yet. They're doing so good with our place value song. Um, so overall today was a pretty good day and tomorrow is Friday. I don't think I'm gonna film anything. I actually think I'm gonna close the vlog out here because I need to just make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe, enjoy the family down below. Let me know what you wanna see more of and I will see you in the next one.